All right, hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. I'm excited to bring you along for another day in life. Let's go. So I've been full time now for a month. I haven't really been in a routine because it's been Christmas vacation and I've been home with the girls, which has been really nice. But now that they're back at school, kind of getting back into my daily routine and that starts with dropping them off, coming to Starbucks, getting a uh, black coffee and getting some work done. So. I'm gonna get some of this taken care of, then we're gonna go get a workout in, and I really am enjoying, you know, kind of getting my day started here. This is how I start, you know, every day. I spend the first part of my morning, I would say 70% of my time I'm spending on my online coaching business. The other 30% I'm spending on YouTube, and I start every morning kind of going through and looking at how everybody did yesterday. So I'm gonna do some check-ins here, uh, check on how people are doing with their workouts and with the accountability portion, and that's kind of where I start my day. So that's what I'm doing now. All right, so morning check-ins are done. Now it's time to go get a workout in. All right, so I've been doing CrossFit. It's been about a month since I did my first workout, and I've been coming about three to four times a week, and I really have enjoyed it so far. I can definitely feel my physical fitness increasing, and I have a lot of people ask me and say, you know, why are you doing CrossFit? Or people have their opinions on CrossFit, especially on the internet, and here's what I say. When it comes to physical fitness, the most important thing that you can do is find something that you enjoy. So kind of what I'm gonna do is I've committed to doing CrossFit for three months, and at that time, I'm gonna kind of decide whether or not I wanna continue with it or kind of what the next, you know, beyond that looks like. One of the things that I know is when I was in the Army, I used to run all the time, and I hated running until I started to get good at it, and then I loved running. So CrossFit now, the workouts are still very tough. Um, I am not conditioned for this, you know, I'm moving in that direction. So I figure at the three month mark, I will be at a good level of fitness that I will be able to decide whether or not I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy coming to the workouts now. I'm not very good at them, but I enjoy kind of pushing myself. So that's kind of my overall take on CrossFit. I'm looking forward to today's workout and it's been a good month so far and looking forward to the next few. Good workout, felt really good. I think especially that second round, I was the second one done. Not that it's a race, you know, I'm absolutely competing against myself. But if I look back to where I am now versus a month ago, I know I would not have finished near as quickly as I did. And that's one of the things that I am absolutely getting out of CrossFit that I wasn't doing on my own. It was kind of that cardio endurance. I was, I was doing no cardio before. So I've only been doing it for a month, but I can definitely see myself improving, so. Great workout, let's go get some stuff done. So my, uh, my mother and father-in-law got me an Academy gift card for Christmas. I'm gonna go see if I can't find something to spend it on. So there's a few things that I'm actually looking for. One of them is shoes. I've actually been wearing these sh <laughs> shoes are probably like two years old. I've looked for shoes probably a few times over the last six months, but I can never commit. I suffer with indecision. All right, so workout's done. Got a few things for our trip next week. Now, 
it's time for the part of the day that I really enjoy and one of the things that I get to do now that I am doing this full time and not working the other job, which is create some more YouTube videos. So I'm gonna hop on the computer now. I'm gonna uh, to write some scripts up for a video. Amazon package delivered and if you have been following my channel at all you know one of the things that I always talk about is this idea of building one habit at a time the first habit that I built was fast after it was fasting it was fitness I worked in a physical fitness plan I started working out regularly then I started tracking my calories one of the things that I have been working on over the last year is starting to change my nutrition um, and again, I'm not changing overnight. I'm trying to eat a little healthier. So what I'm eating now is different than what I was eating a year ago. And what I'm eating a year from now is gonna be different. All that being said, one of the habits that I have not worked on in these last two years that I wanna start working on is, uh, is my water intake. And I actually just got something that is hopefully gonna help me build the habit of getting in my water on a regular basis. I thought I ordered one. So I got what is called a battle bottle. So this is not a sponsored video. Battle bottle, if you want to sponsor me, just kind of reach out. My email is in the description below. But their marketing team has done a great job of targeting me on Facebook. I see these things everywhere. So it's called a battle bottle. And it is essentially just a, a big honking water bottle. I got this for myself to kind of help me get my water intake. For me, simple works best. So I think it's going to be simple for me to fill up a large water bottle and then just make sure that I'm emptying it out once or twice a day. Got this, I'm excited to try it out and I can take it to the gym with me, put my cell phone in and it just looks, it looks cool. So. People ask me all the time about intermittent fasting for beginners, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. But I really don't like standing in front of a whiteboard, so we're gonna go have a cup of coffee and talk about it. Little change of plans. We were about to start filming the tips for intermittent fasting for beginners, and you may find this hard to believe, but there are absolutely times where I am not comfortable on camera, and I think one of those times is like, talking in front of a whiteboard and almost telling you what to do. And that's just one of the areas where I am not as comfortable. I think over time that may be a skill that I work on. Um, but as I was writing out the whiteboard and kind of getting my thoughts together for the video, Jay was asking me some questions and he had mentioned to me that he had just started intermittent fasting. And as he was right asking me some questions, I was writing some things down and literally started filming the video. Got a little anxiety about this is gonna be a terrible video. I don't really wanna shoot it. And if there's one thing that I know about myself, it's the product is going to be better when my heart is in it. And I would rather film a video talking to intermittent fasting for beginners with somebody that has questions. So Jay and I are actually gonna go grab a cup of coffee and he's gonna ask me some questions and we're gonna talk about uh, intermittent fasting from somebody who is just starting. I am much more comfortable in that space. So. Let's go get some coffee. All right, that's better. Jay, excited that you're getting ready to get started with intermittent fasting. What uh, what questions do you have? Um, definitely like to start out what we were talking about earlier, just in at your house about like where to start. Cause I told you like the only thing I've done really was stay within those guidelines of that eight to 16 ratio. Um, and that's really it. That's like all I've done. I haven't like, been counting calories I haven't been like looking to like what like how to clean up my um, eating habits right now really just focusing on that like 16 to 8 ratio like something that you were saying was just like building those habits yeah like, that first initial habit of that and like I ate I ate like Korean barbecue yesterday as like to break my fast and I don't know like I don't even know how much I ate to be honest, but it felt like I ate more than like I should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so the first thing that I always ask people and um, is what is the reason that you're looking to get into intermittent fasting? Like what's your kind of goal with it? Definitely, definitely wanting to lose weight. Like a, a big part of like my New Year's resolutions is to definitely like be able to lose weight and just to have like, and something that you talked about too, like the free time to be able to like doing OMAD like 
not having to worry about like when my next meal was going to be or like spending the, that extra time like preparing a meal and just like knocking out in the day kind of like through my schedule. So I say definitely like wanting to lose weight for sure. I figure that was probably the answer. And then I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody that gets started yeah. with intermittent fasting. The first thing that you have to understand is we need to take a long-term approach to not only our weight loss, but our overall health and fitness. Yeah. And by taking a long-term approach, that is the frame by which I'm giving you this advice. I don't want anything that we do to be to lose weight quickly. Because when we lose weight quickly, we forget to enjoy and learn the process so that we can keep doing it forever. Best way to be successful is to have a simple plan and just always execute on it. I think some of the times when we start to lose weight, we try to do all of these things because we look at where we're at and where we want to be and we think about all of the things we've got to do from who we are to the person we wanna be and we try to do all those things in the first few weeks. Yeah. So my first bit of advice is to keep it simple. If you are just starting with intermittent fasting, that's the first thing I would say is focus on nothing else but simply fasting for, I recommend, start at like 16 hours a day. So stop eating at 8 p.m., don't start eating at noon, and just do that until that becomes habit. So with that being said, how long have you been fasting? I think two days ago. I'd say this is probably like my, this is probably like my third day actually. Okay, so. This is my third day. I'm super excited for that because like we get to see what it's like. So let's start with that. So yeah. you're on day three. How has the first few days been? The times that I have tried to fast, it was always like, oh shoot, like I, I wanna eat. I wanna take like at least a snack or something. And then like after I have those snacks, I'm like, dang, I could've kinda just went without that if, if I was gonna fast the whole day anyways. So like what kind of strategies do you like use to kinda help you like stay within those eight to 16 hours like to help motivate yourself to stay in the fasting? No, so that's a great point. And a few things that I wanna bring up touch right off the bat. One, I, I'm super excited that you're on like day two or three. And the best way you can do it is by building the one habit at a time. So the one habit that I would recommend you start with is fasting. There are things that are going to complicate that. One of them you brought up is like, what do I do during that time that I would normally be eating? That is not necessarily you're eating because you're hungry, you're wanting to eat because you're hungry, but you're, we are conditioned to eat out of boredom. My recommendation is you just focus on making it that 16 hours. There's a few things. One, I always kept myself busy with work is one of the things that I did, work or working out. For me, I found that to keep my mind busy so I didn't have the boredom eating. Yeah. Now some of it, and you may not have experienced it yet because you're only on day two, I recommend that you do nothing but fast for the first three weeks. So don't worry about tracking your calories. Don't try to start a new fitness routine. Yeah. Like don't go crazy with all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't try to get your 10,000 steps. Like just focus on the fast because one of the things you are gonna experience over these next three weeks is you are gonna experience true hunger in the morning. And so like what you experienced this morning was boredom. And in that case, you just gotta keep yourself occupied, yeah. you know, which is good because you have some free time back. That's one of the hidden advantages of intermittent fasting. One other thing I did want to ask was like, was intermittent fasting your first option to wanting to like lose weight? Or were there other methods that you tried before? Every diet under the sun will work. And some of them work for some people. You have mm. to find what works best for you. And when I said at the beginning, like you gotta set a time horizon, you gotta realize we're trying to get healthy forever. Yeah. So it's important to find something that fits into your lifestyle. For me, intermittent fasting fits into my lifestyle. And like for a while was like intermittent fasting, like the only like thing you were doing, like no working out really, or was so, that a combination of both? So if your goal is to lose weight, my recommendation, start with just the fasting and the fasting alone for the first three weeks. Yeah. The next habit I would recommend you introduce is tracking calories. The reason that you need to track calories is at the end of the day, weight loss does come down to being in an energy deficit. You need to burn more calories than you consume. And a lot of the times we don't know how much we're really eating. So I don't recommend you change your diet. So week one to three, just focus on the fasting. Week three to call it six, 
track your calories. Don't really change your diet, just get an idea of what you're eating. Yeah. Now some of that, you're naturally gonna clean up your diet when you go to put in how much food you're eating, you're like, uh, that's a little much. So you're gonna clean it up a little bit, but it'll give you an idea to how much you're eating. Now intermittent fasting will not work if during your eight hour eating window, say if you cut breakfast out, and then for lunch and dinner, you eat more food because you didn't have breakfast. Mm. Well, if you're consuming more calories, then you're not necessarily gonna lose weight. Ideally, yeah. it works because you keep your lunch, dinner, and any snacks the same that you do day in and day out, and you cut out those calories from breakfast. Um, so track your calories. Once you've tracked your calories for three weeks, then my recommendation is then you start working on, if you haven't lost any weight by that point, then start working on figuring out where you need to reduce. And I mm. recommend only reducing by a little bit, right? Run a small deficit so that you're still enjoying what you're eating. If I said every three months, every three months, I want you to introduce one habit, mm. one healthy habit. Yeah. Spend three months to focus on that. Don't do anything else, don't change anything else. At the end of that three months, you will probably have built a legitimate habit. At the end of the year, you could have built four habits Wow. that you're never gonna go back on. But instead, what we do is January 1st comes around and we try to implement six new habits. And then by March, we are ending up doing none of them. So if I can get you to go slower, but forever, you're gonna be unstoppable. So for you, did it take those like three weeks to get into like intermittent fasting and like sticking with that and then building that next habit? Or was it, did it take longer or? Yeah, no, so it did. So I. Uh, I only focused on the fasting for the first two or three weeks. And then I started walking. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't even lifting weights at that point. So it was like, and then I'm gonna start walking and tracking yeah. calories. Um, because I did experience some pretty bad hunger when I started. Mm. Cause I always ate breakfast. So yeah. like I did have to muscle through those first two or three weeks, wow. which is what I recommend. Yeah. How did you, what was like, how did you beat those, like those urges? Staying busy. Staying busy? Staying busy, drinking water, and telling myself, the only thing I have to do is make it till noon. Mm, wow, that's awesome. Because I didn't have to do a lot, you could stand on your head for weeks if that's all you had to do. If you yeah. only have to do one thing, it's like, I can make it till noon. Mm. You do have to have a little bit of grit. But on the other side of that, three weeks later, you can do it without thinking about it. Wow. So just got back, Carrie is already home with the girls. Um, I am absolutely stuffed for my one meal. Kava was delicious, but um, I'm absolutely tired now. But it's Wednesday night. One of the reasons that I am doing one meal on Wednesdays is it's about time to get girls to their activities. Um, so we are about to go into our Wednesday night routine, which is a little crazy and hectic around here. So I went ahead and got eating done and out of the way. I'm gonna get all that stuff taken care of. Uh, I've enjoyed bringing you along with me today. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more, I'm going to leave another one on the screen here now. Be sure to check that out. And remember, we're not looking to lose weight fast. We're looking to lose weight forever. Thanks again, and I will catch you in the next video.